I'm Diego Cordovez. Adam Schoenfeld. Welcome to The Scoop, brought to you by Full Tilt Poker. We've got a great guest today, Lex Veldhaus, and he's been on High Stakes Poker. He was featured on ESPN's coverage of the World Series, but people who play online know him as Razi, this guy who plays Millions all stakes, <laughs> all stakes, all comers, all tables, all comers, and uh, he's really a all-around poker player, making his mark live and online, and a very thoughtful analyst. Already, already a star in Holland, but now blowing <laughs> up in America in 2010. He really is. In the high stakes poker, when you came into the table, Elia Lazarus said, here comes another tournament player or something, which surprised me, because I never think of you really as a tournament player. I think of you as one of these multi-table online crazy guys. Was that just to get under your skin a bit, or, or did no. people not know the your thing background? Is, um, I just played a couple tournaments with Eli at the World Series, and uh, I did well in a couple of those, so he assumed that I was a tournament player. And at that time, we had a kind of a grudge thing going, where uh, he actually asked me to play heads up. Really? Um, and I really wanted to do that, so I'm not going to like come out and say, like, no, no, I'm a cash game player. Please refer to me as a cash game player, because <laughs> we're playing a cash game, and I really need some... I've made millions online of uh, cash like, games. I don't really care if he does that, so I really... I really think that he uh, sees me as a tournament player. I just don't care enough. To w- was it a grudge, uh, or is it sort of like a, I thought he had like a half respect, half sick of you bluffing him six times and showing him? Yeah, it's just it's just kind of uh, I don't know. During the 40k uh, event, uh, he was at my table, and we kind of got into a couple jokes because you know he's like one of those uh, people who point out to the table that you're playing aggressive to try and stop mm-hmm. you from doing it. Um, which often works, or, or at least other people will start doing a, something against it. So, um, And then I just made some jokes to him, like I wouldn't look at my cards, like look, they're right there, and then I would re-raise a pre-flop and he would fold them, like how bad are you? And So that kind of got the whole thing going, and then the, the World Series uh, main event feature table, uh, it's just all, all banter and fun. Um, right, he, that seemed lighthearted. Yeah, exactly. Like some some people said that they were like, "Why, why is Eli so bitter?" And I was like, "How right. how can you pick that off?" And Eli is not a bitter type of guy. No, you know, like, he likes to promote a. a I game mean, come on, he plays he plays uh, he plays mixed games with Ivy and all those people, and he's gonna be annoyed by my aggression in a tournament. <laughs> really? Right. No. But it is. But it was good tactics on him. This is when I think most people, including me, like really had first been introduced to you playing and to your style of play. And at your table, besides Alan Cunningham, there were these guys who obviously were amateur players, pretty intimidated by the whole situation, and you were really taking advantage of them. So to Eli, that's like a terrible dynamic. So he was trying to alert them, listen, you guys need to stand up for yourselves because they were making these incredible laydowns against you. That's ridiculous. When you watched the video afterwards, were you amazed to see the hands that they laid down against you? Because at the table, of course, you don't know what they're playing yeah specifically the queens though the, they were, when i uh, led with a six four on eight five five in a three bet pot and right. the turn is another eight or yeah another eight or another five either way and i lead again and he folds queens within like 10 <laughs> seconds i was like no no he, no he did not <laughs> and this is after you've been like yeah this making is making a lot of plays like showing all the bluffs and this was exactly uh, a really good example hand of why i thought i could keep showing the bluffs because people would after a while they're just like just never mind or he's going to show up with it and I had a straight flush somewhere in the middle so people are, people thought there's going to be a point where he's going to show up with some hands and I just figured the first time they're going to call me I'm going to stop bluffing and until then I'm just going to keep showing and stuff because it was for such a small percentage of my stack after a while so it, it, they sh- you showed this is on TV you showed six bluffs I think and you probably showed a bunch more that weren't shown uh, yeah. Is that your normal tactic? No, it was just because <laughs> it's going to be on TV anyway, and I thought it would uh, make the people that were playing on the table very uh, uncomfortable because they would know they're going to be on camera. And after the first hand, it's going to go through someone's head and it's going to grind them down, kind of, oh my God, it's going to bluff me on TV. And they were really aware of the cameras, you could tell. So um, I kind of wanted to keep making them aware that they were going to be on TV and that they got bluffed. and take them out of their comfort zone. You, you wanted to humiliate them, and you did. <laughs> no, no, like, that's the thing. I, I, I'm not really out to, to spite anyone or, or no. stuff like that. It was really from a tactical uh, point of view. One thing I do, uh, I wish they would have shown, like, some other hands than just bluff hands. I called a guy uh, down on three streets with ace high, and I was good. And it was a pretty big pot and didn't show that one, but 
I mean, like, it's all good. <laughs> that stopped them from bluffing any further. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> what you mentioned about TV is also relevant in the sense that for guys who may be on TV only once in their lives, they definitely don't want to be knocked out 10 minutes in. So they're yeah. really playing tight, thinking, if I go out on a marginal hand, I've blown my my one time in, uh, you know, exactly. in the media. It's They just... They don't really know how to adjust well, and they'll know for next time, but it's just like the, that first time that you're on a feature table like that, you really have to uh, know what you want to do and how you want to carry yourself. It was, it was funny because Eli knew what's going on. He's not scared of TV, and he'll bluff <laughs> or call, and you know he's very prone to calling, but he almost was begging the other players to stop you. Yeah. Uh, you know, He's like, do you, don't you see what he's doing? Well, the problem for Eli <laughs> is that Lex is accumulating tons of chips from the other players, so now when he plays Eli, he's got them way yeah. out chipped. And you were to his, puts him in you a were very his tough, left, wasn't you? Yeah. So it was just bad, bad it's overall horrible for him. him. <laughs> he, he, needs, yeah. he needs other people to hurt me for him to be able to have a good day. Right. And uh, it was funny because in one of the first hands, he actually opened my cards. I won a pot, and he. I remember that. He he grabbed my hand and he threw it really casually away, but it flipped over, and I had aces. So I was like, why do you flip my hand over? You know that's the only thing I play. So the, the people were kind of uh, <laughs> kind of uncertain if Eli was just leveling them, that I was really tight and he was giving me some action by saying that I was bluffing. So some people were like, well, that's not that aggressive. He had aces. Eli's like, hmm, that's not good. Had you had a history with Eli at all before uh, the World Series? No, just the 40K event before this. The one thing uh, that you mentioned that resonates with something that Gus Hansen said when we talked to him is he said, after you bluff a bunch of times, a lot of people think, okay, I can't bluff again because they're getting sick of me. They're going to know that they need to call me this time. But on the other hand, if it's working, just keep doing it. It yeah, sounds like that was your attitude. Also, it was, until they stopped you, you're just going to keep keep doing it. Why why out psych yourself? Yeah, it's. Um, I think it's definitely one of the reasons that you could do it. But it's all table dependent. I mean, if, if that table wasn't on... Uh, it wasn't a featured table, and I would have played that way. I would have been out before level three. So, I mean, it's all it's all about like who's on the table. And so, is that an uh, an inaccurate representation of your style when you play online? Obviously, you're aggressive, and online you have to be aggressive, especially in shorthanded games. But people came away from the, from there thinking you're just a you have one gear, which is a maniacal gear. Uh, well, actually, <laughs> which maybe is a good thing for you. Yeah, I, I play online, I play pretty nitty actually, um, because you just have to, because your mistakes get punished harder, you have less information, it's less boring I guess, so, I mean, that's that's a fact, you know, you just start to play more hands, um, when I started playing live cash games, you started playing more hands to keep yourself entertained, or because you can and you're deeper, and that just uh, travels to tournaments as well, because you're more comfortable playing those hands live, and online you just get punished harder because everybody plays more mathematically or nobody plays because they have a good feeling about a hand really because the, the action has dried up so much so I play completely different uh, online and I would even say that normally in tournaments I play a lot less suicidal than that mm -hmm. um, I might play really aggressive uh, pre-flop but not this much post-flop Thanks for joining us on The Scoop brought to you by Full Tilt Poker Lex Veldhaus has been very interesting we're going to continue with him next week Look for us here on Card Player TV or just at the scoop at cardplayer.com.